Welcome back to Coin Sense and Nonsense. Today, it's Toto Tuesday. So we got one. So we got a seated Liberty dime. Liberty seated, whatever. 1868. And it's got some cool blue color. Was inspired by the Tylon Platinum the third video that he posted for Toner Tuesday, and also Jaden had a blue quarter. So blue is the color of the day, or Liberty seated dime day. I don't know. Anyway, it's the last uh, slices of Toner Tuesday, kind of west of the Mississippi or west of the Rockies, depending on what time I post this. <laughs> Getting late. But wanted to share, you can see some dings there near her elbow. And that kind of contributed to the grade. This is a Proof 62. Uh, there are also some you know, light scratches here and there. Um, on the reverse, there's definitely a lot more scratching um, the slab has a significant amount as well, but trust me, there's a lot on the, on the coin. So, um, it does fulfill my typeset for the Seated Liberty, or it doesn't complete it, of course, but I'm trying to build the, uh, Seated Liberty or Liberty Seated, um, set. So I just need the half and the dollar only. So, um, yeah, well, I'll show you this side. So this side, side is a little nicer, um, or as far as the cameo goes, anyway. So it does also have some color, which is neat. Um, it's mostly around the, around the rim, or around the edge. Um, but you can still see there's some nice uh, mirror. And definitely uh, more scratches on this side, um, but still happy to have this one. Um, proof coins for this series are kind of, I don't know, the when you look at the mintage numbers, the early dates are impossible. They're all, you know, really, really low mintage. It's not until like 1858 that you could think about starting to collect them for the, the average person. And um, so they had like 300 or, so, you know, a little more than 300 minted. Uh, the mintage number is unknown actually for 1858. Um, but they kind of, you know, steadily increased, you know, uh, five, six hundred, uh, some years were eight hundred, um, up until um, Civil War and things kind of um, simmered down there again and were very low. So the mintage in 1868 was low, but not super, super low. Six hundred was the mintage in 1868. And then the top of the uh, mintage number was 1880. And it was because there was like a coin collecting craze. It, it kind of started to heat up like in 1878, 79. There was a, a larger demand. So in case you notice why the mintage numbers had kind of increased for proofs, that was, that was the reason. More collectors, people were into like the $3 gold and... Yeah, would have been a good time to be around. I think they were only like $2 for a set of proof coins, so sheesh. Anyway, wanted to share a cool one for the, like I say, the end of Donor Tuesday. So I thank you so much for watching Coin Sense and Nonsense. And until next time, bye-bye.